What's going on everyone? Morning. It's your boy JR Spesh and back with another video. Uh went to go and play the Switch today. Um I know in my last video from yesterday I was like super hyped and you know crazy or uh, you know but I've calmed down a little bit. Um It's strange. I feel still hyped for this console but I think I've kind of softened in terms of being brought back down to reality. So Let's get straight on to like impressions. I played, as you can see right now, uh, the first game I played. Well, this isn't obviously me playing, this is another dude. <laughs> uh, I played that game, Arms. And I really enjoyed it. The game was really smooth. Uh, frame rate was really good. Graphically, it's really impressive. Um, I played it with a, a guy who I ended up playing most of the games with. Uh, me and him were kind of walking around the, the floor and everything. But I found that the game is. I hope it's like a demo version because there are only five characters as you can see so I'm hoping that there are going to be more because that's not a lot of characters for a game that you're trying to charge £60 for yeah that's a no no uh, I found that I was kind of the whole time thinking to myself the only game here that's not Splatoon 2 not ARMS and Zelda it's harder to find yourself wanting to be like, I'm going to spend money on this. Like, I'm going to really buy this game. Uh, apart from, there was a few indie games there. Well, not indie, sorry. Like, uh, third-party stuff. So, you had Ultra Street Fighter 2, which isn't a brand new game. It's a port, but I like Street Fighter a lot. So, that's fine by me. Uh, I think that right now, based on the games that were there, I don't want to make that judgment too much because I don't want to be dooming the Switch. I think the Switch is going to be fine, but I just don't want it to be a repeat of the Wii U's launch in terms of a lot of great games are promised, but not everything is delivered in time for a launch that's worthy of the 200... I mean, <coughs> worthy of it. <coughs> I was going to say of the, of the price, the £280, but I think everyone's kind of jumping on this, oh my god, £280 is so much money, oh... It's it's really not like most phones these days are like three hundred pounds. So, admittedly, two hundred eighty pounds for the Switch, and it's not as powerful as the PS4. But the only reason the standard PS4 Slim is so cheap now is because it's the second iteration. Because when the first PS4 came out, I bought it. It was like four hundred pounds. So, four hundred pound compared to two hundred eighty. Mm, yeah, not. It's not that expensive. Not to mention, <coughs> the PS4 Slim is cheaper now due to the fact that the Pro has come out. So, you can't have it still be over £300 if you're going to have a more advanced, more powerful version. Even more expensive. So, people kind of jump in on this, oh my god, the Switch is so expensive. It's not. I mean, I will admit, £75 for two Joy-Cons is a lot of money. But when you actually get it in your hands... You realise the amount of stuff Nintendo have crammed into these little little control pads kinda makes sense. I mean the HD vibration is definitely there. I felt it. There was um one of the games that we played on one two switch, which is another thing. I'll get back to that in a second after I make this point. Um the thing about one two switch is <sighs> I just feel like that game shouldn't be sold separately. Like it should be the Nintendo Land or the Wii Sports for the Switch. It should be demonstrated. Well, it's basically a tech demo. It's basically a demonstration of what the Joy Cons can do, and it does that really, really well. I don't understand why I need to pay like fifty pounds for that. For that though, when the console itself is already two hundred eighty pounds without anything with it, that's where I think Nintendo kind of shot themselves in the foot there. But that being said, I feel that. <coughs> Nintendo want in a situation where the problems that the Switch is apparently, well, appears to be having or was going to have can't be prevented or can't be alleviated or can't be worked on through time. Like, for example, people are saying, well, apparently it's been confirmed with the, um, the, the paid online service where you get the free game each month. You don't get to keep the game forever. So you play the game for the month. The, for the month it's free. To play. Fine. I mean when PlayStation Plus came out. It wasn't that good. 
but then it got better over time. Sony refined it, and now PlayStation Plus is print. And same with Xbox Live Gold, it's worth buying now, where you get your free games in. It's not like Nintendo can't just do that. Like people are going on like it's the end times already. Like Nintendo can't change it once they once they do something. Like they must stick to their guns for it. Sony always changing their minds. I mean, it's even uh, uh, when I was having this um, walkthrough with with the a few different people we got to speak to, and everyone was raising the question about whether they why aren't Nintendo showing off the UI. And I was thinking to myself, that is a good point. It's a little bit strange the console so close to to release and they haven't shown what the UI looks like. Then I thought to myself, well, it's not too much of an issue because I think. Nintendo are going to have at least four or five years, maybe six with the Switch. So, if they're lucky. <laughs> so, it's kind of like they don't need to worry about what the UI looks like now because it could change. I mean, the PlayStation's, well, PlayStation 4's UI has changed a lot since it first came out. So, I mean, it's not that too much of a, of a big deal. I think that... <sighs> I feel... It's strange. I'm gonna keep my pre-order for the for the Switch. I, I pre-ordered it. I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Right now, though, the main three games I would definitely get based on the ones I played. No, wait, four actually, four games. Uh, but I wouldn't buy them at full sixty. Well, I don't think most of them are gonna be sixty pounds. But Ultimate, Ultimate, Ultra, Ultra Street Fighter Two. Obviously, The Legend of Zelda, Splatoon 2, and Arms. I think that a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Splatoon 2, it's just Splatoon 1, but, you know, they've refined the character models and new maps. Okay, but you can make the same argument with every single COD game that comes out every single year. It's the same. In fact, they don't bother changing character models because it's F it's a F FPS. Oh, and they... Remember a couple years back when they invented what was it? Was it Infinite Warfare? Or I can't even, I don't even recall. I can't even remember. But they were ranting and raving about the fact that you jump in water and fish would move. That's been happening since like Super Nintendo, mate. Like forget N sixty four. Like that's been happening forever. And people, are, oh my gosh, you jump in the water and the fish move. That's so amazing. Yet people are going on about Nintendo releasing a. A sequel to a game that did really well for the Wii U, and the game looks similar to the first game. Oh, and um, I just heard about the fact that the Switch isn't going to use Miiverse. It's going to focus on social media or networking like Twitter and Facebook instead. I don't understand that. I hope that that's. I mean, I'll sh share the link with you where I read that from Eurogamer. Um, but I think. Don't think that's a good idea to get rid of Miiverse. I mean, especially since it's Nintendo's, I think, successful attempt at doing that kind of thing themselves. And it works. I think that um, it kind of makes the Wii U unique in that way, that it's got its own kind of thing. Um, I think it's the reason why Nintendo are probably going to try and do that. If you're going to be uploading a video, or capturing video and an image, you can just share it to what YouTube and to Facebook and to Twitter instead. But also, I think it's down to limitations of the console itself. So obviously, the console is powerful, but being able to capture, like for example, you probably can't do a constant 1080p capture like with the PS4. Well, it doesn't do 1080p, but you know, of a of a, of a high quality. I mean, I, I guess that's probably why Nintendo aren't going to do it, but getting rid of Miiverse entirely just doesn't seem right. Especially considering that Nintendo said they were going to have an ecosystem that kind of was built around it for the foreseeable future, for all of their kind of platforms. So, I don't know. Maybe there'll be an app instead. We'll have to just see. I think that Nintendo are trying something different, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Sometimes people just nitpick to the point where it's like you're literally just trying to find fault because you can't say every, you you have to find an issue. Just oh, come on, man. I mean, it just this is turning into something different now. But let me get back on track. Move away from just running. I don't want to just run. Um, I think that 
in terms of what I've played, I'm I am impressed with the Switch overall. I think that um, visually, a lot of the games are already looking very, very, very nice, very nice, very tidy. Uh, I constantly have to keep reminding myself that the screen tablet part is the console and not the dock but I'm kind of in the same boat again as I was a few months back that everyone else was kind of in but kind of convinced themselves it's okay but I'm now I'm looking at it again and I'm worried again that the switch is just going to be like the Wii U in terms of it's already underpowered when it comes out and we have developer support now but will we have that for much longer we have like Nintendo said 80 games in development at the presentation and you know all of these, all of this stuff. But it, I mean, actually, yeah. Well, since we're on that that note, I want to just kind of give you a less hyped up version of my impressions for the presentation quickly. I think that the presentation was okay. Um, well, I was just so hyped up on the fact that Mario Odyssey just looked amazing to me, and um, obviously Breath of the Wild's trailer just blew me away. But I think overall the presentation was more Xbox. 360 unveil or Xbox One unveil even as opposed to Nintendo of old kind of you know blowing everybody away I think um, there was a lot of talking and not enough showing of actual gameplay not gameplay trailers and people coming to promise things that are coming but not showing them to me I want to see the game play. I don't want to just hear about the game being made. Which is kind of like... Leads on to the no another thing about this, the launch itself. I mean, I think... If, obviously, the biggest game Nintendo are focusing on is the Breath of, is Breath of the Wild. And that makes perfect sense. I mean, it's going to be a huge game. But it's kind of... When you look at it, it's kind of worrying that the biggest game that they're launching the new system on is already on the old system. I mean, it's kind of like the Wii in a way because it had um, Twilight Princess and GameCube and on the Wii, but at that point, a lot of people had already stopped playing the GameCube. I mean, I guess that's the same kind of situation with the Wii U too, but I mean, the thing about Breath of the Wild now as opposed to what happened with GameCube and Wii is Breath of the Wild on Wii U is like £40 and then the Switch version is 60. I mean, I can barely, barely bring myself to to buy a game for £50, much less 60 That's a whole lot of money. And I mean, if you think you've pre-ordered the Switch for £280, and then you're going to buy a £60 game, and knowing me, being the collector that I am, I'm going to want that limited edition. That's £90, plus that 280 That's a whole bag of money. So... That's when it starts getting expensive, is the fact that Nintendo haven't bundled the game with the console and you have to buy one. And all the games are expensive. None of it's cheap. So it's kind of like, you, you do find yourself in that kind of, kind of justify buying this console right now with the lack of huge plethora of games. I mean, you have games, you do, but is it all the types of games that you want to play? Not really. And even, I, I just heard that... Um, not like I care, but the next FIFA game, uh, the F FIFA on Switch, it's based on the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, which is, EA, just just go away. Like, why are you even here? If you're going to support a, a console, support it with the best that you, that you can offer. Because it's not like the Wii U is weak, weak. It wasn't, but... Now you have Switch, which is, uh, which is more powerful. I mean, if the Switch can run Unreal 4, you're telling me you can't run FIFA 16? Much less 17? Come on, man. Like, that's why I, I was holding out. I hope that we're going to say Mass Effect, but they're not going to bring Mass Effect to the Switch. So it's kind of annoying in that way that Nintendo are in sort of the same situation that they were in with the Wii U. I don't feel like their their, their situation has completely changed. They've, they've kind of just... It's just shifted that they have more developers, but then they still have the risk of having those developers still just go, oh, yeah, we're just going to walk off, make one or two games for the system, and then just disappear again. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen, but I think overall for collect 
effectively over yesterday and today. I'm still in high spirits for the for the Switch. I think it's still going to be a, um, a good console. I'm sold on the Joy-Cons. They are small. I won't lie. They are small. But you do get used to them. And once you realise what's inside them, you appreciate them a lot more. And I think it's time. It's like learning how to use the gamepad. Learning how to use the Wii Remote. It took time. You can't just pick it up. It's not like a DualShock 4 where it's like the DualShock 3. Or the Xbox One controller and the Xbox 360 controller. They're similar. And tell them we're always trying something different. You've got to learn how to use the system. Then you can appreciate what it's capable of more. So people go, oh, the, the controllers are small. Oh, the controllers are small. It's like, dude, just get a life and get on with it. Like, if you've got all this time to complain... Why are you even bothering? I, I don't understand. Like, you feel like you, everyone has to make that point. We know they're small. Get over it, man. Everyone's making a point. Oh, they're small. Oh, they're small. My hands are going to hurt when I play on my hands. Dude, there's like a million and one different ways in Nintendo are showing you you can use controller outputs. You can use the Pro Controller. You can use the, the, the grip. And I use the grip as well, actually. And it's very reminiscent of the GameCube control pad to me, which is nice. Also, I think that Nintendo are in a situation where I don't know if they fully got the memo on Pro Controllers. Because I used the Pro Controller as well, and the shoulder buttons I was hoping were going to be more like DualShock 4 or Xbox One. They're better than the Wii U's ones. They're like a... How can I explain it? It's like a mixture of the DualShock 4 and the Wii U shoulder buttons. They're good enough... For, for 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 shooting games, but I would have liked them to be more like triggers as opposed to buttons. They're kind of like a mixture of both. But that's just a like me nitpicking. I think it was it will be absolutely fine. Um, yeah. Overall, I'm still positive about the Nintendo Switch, but I'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see what happens, I guess. So, yeah, that's more or less my impressions. I, I it's weird. This this video is a little bit strange. I feel kind of like I still need to process a lot of it. So, yeah. Overall, still happy, still positive. Hopefully, Nintendo have more games closer to launch that they haven't told us about, which is a little bit concerning. But we we shall see what happens. But in the meantime, it is your boy, Jasper, signing off. In a bit, so.